Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be setting up and unboxing the ASUS RT-AX88U high-end router. This looks like, from the specifications, it's going to be an excellent replacement to the ROG gaming router, which we've had to send back multiple times because of all the problems we've had. It started off that the ROG gaming router was excellent, but unfortunately, it started developing problems very early on and updates didn't fix it, so we had to give up on that, send them back and get the money back. So we've now got this one, and we'll see how this compares. First of all we have a quick setup guide, and a welcome, a bit of gum. The router itself, we have the LAN port, 8 LAN ports, power supply, reset, WPS, and USB 3 with 4 antenna ports. Four antennas. Power brick. LAN cable. UK plug. And European plug. And warranty and instruction manual. It's a lovely contrast between the Golds and black. First of all, what we need to do is unplug our cables from our old router. So, disconnect the power supply and just drop that down the side and pull out different network connections. Just keep those to one side. And of course, our LAN connection which we need to make sure we know which one that is. So I'll just tuck that over there. Drop this out of the way. First of all, we need to plug the mains in and then take the power supply end and plug it in. Next, as you know, we kept our LAN cable separate. We plug that straight into the LAN port and we can now plug our other devices in as well. Now, hopefully, ports seven and eight might be able to be link aggregated to bind them together to create a two gigabit port rather than two separate one gigabit ports. It might be one and two, I haven't checked the instructions yet, so we'll find that out together. I'm turning it around, all the lights are on now, so it's ready to set up. At the front, we've got an extra USB 3 port, and we have our LED light button and Wi-Fi button. So you can enable and disable the Wi-Fi and turn the lights on and off if it's in a prominent position in a room and you don't want to be dazzled by the lights at night. Now we come to our Wi-Fi connection list. See if you can find 
the new router here we've got the 2G and the 5G version it makes no difference on which one we connect to now we've connected now we come to the ASUS app it's found the router Okay. Okay, it doesn't matter which one we connect to. We can do the quick start. Don't have any special requirements, so we can just click next. Now here we can give it our SSIDs and we're going to keep our IDs the same so our 2G and 5G are the same ID now this can cause problems with some equipment so sometimes you need to drop that out and have it separated then click next and next here we can assign a new admin username and password and click next okay it's now telling us what we've changed our settings to and we can click next because I set it to what our old one was okay agree now you don't have to have remote connection if you don't want it. This is like I might do, so therefore I'm going to have it set. And it's now found our devices. So we've got a list of all of our different hubs and computers that are online at the moment. And there's some firmware update. So I will go and get the firmware updated. Okay. Update all the nodes. Continue. Okay, the update's now complete. Go OK. So we can come to home, still find our own device. Check what protocols they've got running because sometimes we can make it a bit more secure. AI protection, yes we agree because their security is meant to be very good on this. So just the phone interface is quite simple and easy to do. Obviously if you use the web portal on the computer you'll get a much larger and easier control but for a quick setup this is very very good. That's the basic setup done. Nice and quick, no trouble at all. All our devices have automatically connected. Good one so far. That was a lovely easy setup for the ASUS RT-AX88U. The mobile interface was absolutely wonderful. Very simple, clear, straightforward, very quick and easy to use. For most people I wouldn't recommend allowing remote access for admin and that's like you probably won't need but it's like I would probably want to use um, at least for the first couple of weeks whilst I'm just getting used to it and tweaking it for more specific things that I'll be using. So far so good and it looks like it could be a good replacement and upgrade from the ROG Rapture. Took a bit of time for doing the update but that's fair enough but the rest of the interface is nice and simple and straightforward. I'll let you know how 
I get along with it in a later video. We've got a new one to come along as well when we're doing a mesh system where we get two of them and make them talk to each other and that should be a good and interesting one for us and hopefully quite a short video. I do hope you like the video, if so, give it a good thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe below. If you want any help setting them up and you're in the southeast of England, please get in contact with me. I do a home and office setup service so I can come down and set you up on site or I can help remotely as well. If you want to get yourself one or two of these, you can do so in the description below and I'll try and provide links for everything that we do do. Also, if you do want to help support the channel and you find these videos interesting and helpful, please think about uh, becoming a patron and that would help us buy the equipment and fund the production equipment such as cameras, lighting and all that lot. So, uh, hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.